Be back was X plus one. Oh, really? yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god! Back a long time ago. Was it pissing down then as well? <laughs> no, we were nicely indoors. A any time right. I've had a premiere, it always pisses down. I don't know what it is. <laughs> bad luck. For yeah. You. Say, but not bad luck for you for this film because it's in incredible to watch and not what you would expect, is it? Well, I don't know what to, uh, what people would expect. I mean, I, I would hope never to deliver a film which is exactly what people expected. Um, and, you know, for me, I hope it's a film that appeals outside of um, the Formula One fan um, contingent. Um, although I hope it appeals to them too, you know, because it is really an extraordinary racing story, but it's also an extraordinary personal family story. I mean, that's what I took away from it, by, from watching it, was this, it just, it's just not what you would expect, is it really? Well, again, I think I didn't know, I certainly didn't know a great deal about the Williams story. And then I, I read a book uh, that was written by Ginny Williams, um, who was Frank Williams' wife, uh, who died uh, three years ago. And in 1989, 1990, she wrote a extraordinary account of her life with Frank, which is really a, an incredible love letter. And, and it's not an easy love story either. You know, there was a lot of challenges there, and, and, and particularly around the time that Frank um, was paralyzed in a car accident in 1986. And I, I just found it a, a profound read and an extraordinary love story, and was compelled to make the film after reading it. I think what I really enjoyed about watching the documentary as well was just how brave you were with the questions. You you weren't scared to, to ask those questions that could some people could find awkward because you were looking for an honest answer. Well, I think that's partly to do with the time that you know I spent with the team and and with Claire and with Frank and you know hopefully the trust that was built during that time allowed me to feel a bit braver because Frank I mean he's a lovely man but you know he can also be a bit intimidating not I mean it just has a presence he's just one of those people and he doesn't naturally I don't think he certainly doesn't seek out you know uh, the limelight or an interview you know and and I think he's quite it's quite rare for Frank to be interviewed nowadays so it was a real privilege but we, we spent several hours talking and and I was actually surprised um, at the depth uh, in which he was prepared to talk about about the past and his experiences because by all accounts he he was a very sort of closed man when it came to discussing those kinds of things but I didn't find that to be the case. I, I was saying to Clary I saw him as, as a stoic man really. He's yeah. A, certain, a person of his time isn't he? Well he is you know and, and there's an, in, an incredible uh, resilience that comes with that um, and, and whilst he doesn't display his emotions openly, um, I think uh, the way that he's overcome adversity, uh, the way that he carries on, um, the fact that he's been in Formula One for 48 years and is still going and is still going to every race is really quite extraordinary. I mean, it is an inspiring story that, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're Sorry, tenacious no, enough, no, it's okay, don't worry, I'm used to it doing red carpet. Um, if you're tenacious enough and you want something bad enough, you, you, will, you will carry on regardless. And I think that comes through time and time again. Well, that's it. And I, you know, I, I did find, I found that personally very inspiring. And, you know, he's overcome adversity, not just in terms of his, uh, you know, his physical condition, um, but also on the track and not winning a race for 10 years, you know, and he, when he first started, not having any money, you know, all of those things. I mean, Frank losing his team, going bankrupt, restarting again, you know, and he's still there and he's still going. And I think for me, that's, that's particularly inspiring you know whatever whatever you do you know I think Frank can kind of be held up as a as an example you know to us all you know. talking about the track I know you've got to sort of disappear really but you were in such a privileged position as well you know to, to be so close to, to the, the action I mean yes. was it thrilling for you as a filmmaker to be a part of that well it really was and it was a real privilege and to be in the pits during those races and you know to be at Silverstone with the Williams team and, and I, I think I was getting more excited than most of the people you know on, on the team but um, so it was and to experience that that kind of visceral quality of Formula One up close but also to be with the people who are so closely connected to it and to have an allegiance to form an allegiance you know um, yeah it was great.